Can artificial intelligence breathe life into our cherished, paper-bound characters, transforming them into AI NPCs in our cherished graphic novels? That's a captivating thought, Haley. A machine creating narratives. It's like a digital ghostwriter. Indeed, it feels like we're teetering on the edge of a cliff, staring into an abyss of endless possibilities. A world where these drawn characters aren't just lifeless sketches, but tangible entities, capable of evolution. I wonder, though, can a machine really capture those fine nuances that make a character truly human? The emotional depth. Can an AI NPC truly evoke the same connection that a sketched character can? That's the million-dollar question, John. As an engineer, I see the potential that AI holds, its capacity to revolutionise everything. However, I also understand your apprehension. After all, a character's humanness is its USP. Can a machine truly understand that? Well, let's not be too hasty, Haley. It's true. We might lose some emotional complexity, but remember, we would also gain a whole new dimension. Huh. That's why it's such an exciting conundrum, I guess. A clash of possibilities and fears. But isn't that what innovation is all about? Speaking of creating AI NPCs, John... One can't ignore the necessity of the right sort of software tools. From AI development platforms to 3D modelling programmes, the toolset is expansive and intricate. Quite interesting, Haley. The mention of 3D modelling triggers a thought. Can we assume that creating an AI NPC signifies that the character would resemble a realistic human entity? One with physical aspects closely mimicking ours? Well, John, it's a flexible spectrum. The goal isn't necessarily realism. In fact, many AI characters can be stylized or abstract, depending on the needs of the narrative and art style of the graphic novel. Of course, for those who desire verisimilitude, there's the option to use advanced 3D modeling and animation tools, capable of crafting remarkably lifelike characters. But it does boil down to the creative vision. Understandable, Haley. The creative liberty of the artist should not be hampered by the technology but rather complemented by it. And how about their dialogues? Expressive, engaging dialogues are an integral part of any character. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely, John. And that's where the marvel of natural language processing, or NLP as we commonly know it, steps in. It's a tool that's been instrumental in enhancing the communicative capabilities of AI NPCs. NLP helps construct interactive dialogues, providing the character with the ability to engage in compelling conversations. Irrespective of their visual design, it's this engaging interaction that convinces readers of their realness. Seems like a delicate balance between art and technology is necessary for crafting such characters. Also, the constant evolution of these tools must keep the creators on their toes. Well, Haley, what's really fascinating about those 3D models is they're not just pretty pictures. They're actually made functional with the use of AI frameworks, like TensorFlow or PyTorch. Let's unpack this a bit more, shall we? I'm glad you brought that up, John. These frameworks provide a foundation for AI and machine learning development and are critical in essentially animating our AI NPC models. For instance... TensorFlow can be used to train a machine learning model which could potentially control the behaviour of an NPC, making the character dynamic, responsive and more lifelike. Wow, I never thought of technology having such an intricate role in character creation. So, using such AI development platforms and a well-trained machine learning model, the NPC could perform spontaneous tasks or even develop its own behaviour over time. You've got it, John. That's the potential when machine learning meets storytelling in graphic novels, the AI NPCs evolve over time, offering a character trajectory not bound by rigid storytelling principles, but more reflective of the fluidity of real life. It opens up entirely new dimensions in storytelling, a truly revolutionary concept. That's unexpected, I must admit. I initially thought of AI NPCs as static elements like extras in a movie but it seems they could play a much more dynamic role. This leads me to wonder about animation protocol for these characters. Are they designed for precise movement patterns that align with the storyline? John, you're right. Character movement and animation is another interesting aspect, 
Typically, yes, the movements are planned according to the storyline, but AI opens up opportunities for adaptive animation as well, where the character's movements evolve dynamically. This creates a greater depth, moving more in line with a living, breathing entity than just static images on a page. It's unbelievable how we've progressed from 3D models to considering animation protocols, and now we're looking at the overall AI NPC design process. However, Haley, just like any other development process, I presume AI NPC design is iterative. As you said, John, just like any other development process, designing AI NPCs is indeed iterative. A designer doesn't just wave a magic wand and presto, a fully formed AI NPC pops out. It involves careful planning, step-by-step -step execution, multiple iterations and constant refinement. I imagine the designer might face immense challenges throughout each of these stages. I think it would be extremely hard to make an AI character fit seamlessly into a graphic novel while providing a new dimension to the story. That's one of the common challenges, John. Adapting an AI NPC to not just visually fit into the graphic novel but also make them an integral part of the storyline is a multi-layered task. The character should do more than simply blending in. It needs to stand out in its own unique way. Designers would face the challenge of creating a balance between uniqueness and coherency to the story's universe. I see. A truly comprehensive process, then. And prototyping, I presume, plays a significant role. Yes, John. Prototyping, especially in the early stages of AI NPC design, can be the key to success. It's crucial because a tangible representation of the character design is there to scrutinise and improve. The process becomes more efficient, manageable, and the end product is undoubtedly more refined. And once you overcome these hurdles, realistically designed characters can come to life. It's exciting to think about the possibilities, isn't it? It isn't just exciting, it's groundbreaking. Once we stride through these rigorous processes, the final reward is indeed the birthing of characters that are as lifelike as our friends, bringing a new depth to graphic novels. The character is no longer confined to the realm of fiction. It begins to live and breathe in the reader's imagination. So, prototyping, it's fundamental to AI NPC design, isn't it? Is it because it allows designers to refine their concepts? Yes, John. But it isn't simply about refinement. Prototyping is essentially a reality check of the character design. You get a palpable sense of the character, how they look, feel, behave and interact in the virtual space. Without it, there's a risk of making an AI NPC that's technically impressive, but fails to connect emotionally with the readers. I see. But how do they tackle this challenge of creating believable characters? I mean, despite the technology, there has to be a limit to how realistic an artificial intelligence can be. That's a valid point, John. Designing compelling AI NPCs in graphic novels isn't just about the technical prowess. There's an art to it. Creating believable characters isn't always about programming the most complex behaviours or the most intricate physical details. Often it's about lending them relatability, crafting characters that readers can empathise with. This involves insightful planning and careful consideration of the character's place in the story. So the artists, designers and programmers must collaborate towards this goal, right? Absolutely. The fusion of technical expertise and artistic finesse is what it takes to unleash an AI NPC's true potential. Jaw-dropping design facets combined with profound programming can construct a deeply immersive NPC. Above all, however, it requires a storyteller's sensibility to weave an AI NPC seamlessly into the storyline. So, John, understanding the creation and design of AI NPCs effectively requires a clear grasp on a few pillars. Machine learning is definitely one of them. It enables the AI NPC to learn and adapt from experience, just like humans. It's almost like crafting the actual mind of the character. Hold on, Haley. Does it mean that just like a human character, AI NPCs also evolve with time, or are we talking about a predetermined learning here? Good question, John. It's a mix of both, to be honest. While initial behaviour patterns are set by the programmers, 
machine learning ensures that AI NPCs learn from earlier narratives or events and evolve, enhancing the reader's engagement. It's actually fascinating to think about an AI NPC that evolves with each page turn. What other pillars are we looking at? Well, there are neural networks which are crucial. Think of them like a web where each node represents a neuron. I'm fairly certain you've heard about chatbot technology? Absolutely. Chatbots simulate human conversation, correct? Exactly. Now imagine applying that to an AI NPC. The character could hold dynamic conversations, responsive to the reader's inputs. It's a game-changer in terms of narrative interaction. Don't you agree? Intriguing, although wouldn't that mean increased development costs? Not necessarily, John. While development costs might initially rise due to the complexities involved in these technologies, the payoff in terms of reader engagement and longevity of the novel could offset it. After all, who wouldn't want to read a book where the characters literally grow with you? I can see how strong emphasis is on making these AI NPCs intelligent and engaging. Tell me, what's this reinforcement learning? Imagine teaching your AI NPCs how to react in certain situations by providing positive or negative feedback. That's reinforcement learning, a highly effective tool that lets AI NPCs learn and adapt dynamically to the novel's narrative. We are exploring new dimensions in storytelling, John. John, have you heard of deep learning? Yes, Haley, but I'm not very clear on the details. Could you expand on that? Sure. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which we've already touched upon. It uses artificial neural networks with several hidden layers, effectively giving the artificial network a depth, hence the name deep learning. In simple terms, these layers allow the algorithm to learn and make decisions on a level of complexity that surpasses traditional machine learning techniques. How can this complex process be applied in designing AI NPCs? Great question. Simply put, Deep learning can enable an AI NPC to understand and process more complex instructions or narratives. It would be like teaching your AI NPCs a new language, one that is steeped in narrative complexity, emotional depth and situational context. This technology would make our AI NPCs more responsive and engaging, imagining them responding to reader inputs, able to process not just the logic of the conversation, but also the context, the emotion, it's truly a leap forward. And how does chatbot technology come into play? Chatbots essentially simulate a realistic human conversation. But when intertwined with deep learning, this technology can create a character that's not only responsive, but is able to learn and evolve in its conversational ability. Imagine an NPC that's always responsive, always learning and always evolving based on interactions. They'd be much more than static characters in a printed novel. So the process of designing AI NPCs is continually evolving with each interaction? In a way. The AI NPCs pull from a vast memory bank of earlier interactions, constantly learning and improving, eventually refining their conversational abilities, much like real people would do as they meet and interact with new folks. The more it sounds, the more intriguing it gets. AI NPCs aren't just characters in a graphic novel. They are entities that grow in their character and narrative. Exactly. They are a leap towards actual responsive characters that draw the reader in, fostering a deeper connection with the story. And the beauty is that it factors into creating a more dynamic and immersive graphic novel experience. Moving on to our next focus point, what are the key factors that contribute to creating believable AI NPCs? From what I understand, their physical appearance, behavior, backstory, and consistent action sequences are crucial. Ah, yes, physical appearance. Just like human characters, the looks of AI NPCs matter significantly. Their physical appearance should not only be aesthetically engaging, but also resonate with their character's backstory and behavior. There's an interesting point to that. We need to consider whether going for a hyper-realistic style or a stylized approach will suit better for the narrative and character's role in the story. I'm glad you brought that up, John. The physical appearance shouldn't be in isolation. It also has to be consistent with their actions and behavior throughout the narrative. Exactly. Now, imagine an AI NPC that looks menacing but is gentle in nature. The inconsistency can be jarring for readers. However... A paradox such as this can be exploited smartly to create an unexpected plot twist. 
That'd definitely keep the readers on their toes. Moving on, let's not forget how important a backstory is. Especially for AI NPCs in a graphic novel, it helps build depth into their character, providing a context for their actions, appearances and behaviours. Yes, a character without a backstory can often feel hollow. It's the backstory that helps readers empathise with the characters and ultimately influences how they perceive and engage with the story. And lastly, let's not neglect importance of consistent actions. If a character behaves inconsistently, it creates confusion. An AI NPC, however, might have the scope of what we call unpredictability that can enhance reader engagement while maintaining a consistent core character traits. Consistency in AI NPC design certainly carries immense weight, wouldn't you agree, John? Undeniably. Let's consider a scenario. A character in a graphic novel behaves inconsistently. Thoughts, Haley? The result would, of course, be utter confusion. Consistency in a character's behaviour and responses, even in an AI NPC, heightens a reader's engagement, enabling them to form expectations and predictions throughout the narrative. And is this possible for AI NPCs? Via advancements in machine learning and natural language processing, it is indeed possible, John. Once we have designed the core traits and behaviours of an AI NPC, the algorithms can consistently mimic these while allowing for some level of unpredictability. Intriguing. So, a certain level of unpredictability can actually enhance the realness of these AI NPCs. Indeed, John. But there's a fine line between constructive unpredictability and disruptive inconsistency. Having an AI NPC behave in unexpected yet plausible ways can maintain reader interest, while an AI NPC acting out of character can disrupt the narrative flow and hamper reader engagement. It's a bit of an art maintaining that balance in the design process. Haley, you've got a point there. This balance could prove to be the key to make AI NPCs appear more lifelike and immersive. I can't wait to see how this develops in the future. Now let's debunk a myth, John. AI NPCs are not just side characters. Interesting you'd say that, Haley. So the cloud of these AI NPCs reaches beyond supportive roles? Absolutely. Given the progressions in AI NPC design that we've been talking about, an AI NPC could feasibly take on any role in a graphic novel. Even the protagonist? Wouldn't that have major narrative implications, especially considering my limited knowledge around how AI integrates into these stories? Yes, and that's where it becomes fascinating. An AI NPC can adapt and evolve its narrative based on user inputs. Can you imagine a graphic novel where the protagonist evolves based on your interactions and each reader could have a unique narrative, a personal storyline? Wow, that sure sounds like a game changer. But isn't that also risky? A constantly changing protagonist could create wildly fluctuating narratives, am I right? That's no wrong thought there, John. But isn't that part of the charm? To provide multiple narrative paths and therefore a multitude of experiences, it might be the key to unlocking narratives in a way we've never seen before. Are there any current applications or examples of such an approach within graphic novels, Haley? Not to my knowledge, John. The field is still evolving, and it will continue to do so when we blend AI with storytelling. It's this anticipation that has electrified the whole space of graphic novel creation. If we consider these AI NPCs, John, imagine a world in which every reader experiences a unique narrative. The story moulded and shaped through their interactions with the AI NPC to create something extraordinary, unique to the reader. It's like having multiple stories evolve from the same point of origin. That does sound quite impactful, Haley. However, wouldn't that be quite a challenge for the writers? Following the narrative could become impossible with multiple story paths, and the continuity, wouldn't it be a buzzkill? That's a good point, John. We might need to reconsider the traditional structure of a graphic novel. These narratives wouldn't be linear any longer, and instead, they would turn into a labyrinth of possibilities. It's a redefinition of the basics of storytelling, and it might just be the future we are looking at, a more interactive and immersive narrative that breaks the traditional shackles. It creates a more personalised narrative experience, I suppose. This idea of transforming a reader into a participant is definitely intriguing. Exactly. But the shift isn't going to be smooth or easy. 
There might be more debates about the narrative integrity, illusions of choice, or even the limited randomness AI can provide. People might find the new format jarring initially. However, as creators, artists and technologists, it's essential to tackle these challenges head-on. Agree. It's about evolving, embracing new technologies and innovations, and finding the right balance. Creativity is not static. It flows, evolves, and transforms based on time, trends, and advancements in technology. This seems like one more transformation waiting to happen. Absolutely, and the truly beautiful part would be how each reader's experience, influenced by their personal interactions with AI NPCs, becomes a unique artefact of their journey. They would be co-creators in their own narrative experiences. John, how does hyperrealism in AI NPCs play out when we talk about immersion and reader engagement? I mean, there's always this balance, right? Great point, Haley. Striking that balance, that's the key. If the AI NPC is too realistic, it might start to become unsettling. On the other hand, going too stylized might make it less believable. It's about hitting that sweet spot. Yes, the uncanny valley. It's a concept which suggests that if an AI, robots or NPCs become too realistic, they start to become creepy rather than engaging. And in the field of graphic novels, that could be a hindrance to the immersive experience that we are seeking. I completely agree. But that brings me to another thought. When we're thinking about reader engagement, does stylization not offer a form of escapism that realism might not? I mean, graphic novels are not always about absolute realism, aren't they? A touch of fantasy there, a dash of surrealism here. That's one way to think about it, John. In designing these NPCs, we can't forget that storytelling, whether it's through graphic novels or any other medium, often lets us escape into alternate realities. Sometimes perfection blurs the boundary of that escapism. But again, even if we are talking fantasy or surrealism, it needs some level of grounding too, which is where the touch of realism comes in. Indeed. So basically, it sounds like this design balance is much more complex than it seems on the surface. It's not simply a matter of picking a design aesthetic, but a delicate calculus of engaging the reader in the narrative without pulling them out of it. So, we've discussed the effect of ultra-realism in AI NPCs on the reader's immersion, but wouldn't a reader's acceptance and belief in the character also be skewed depending on the degree of the NPC's design? Interesting perspective, Haley. But aren't we forgetting that the perception of realism might differ from person to person? Absolutely, John. Just like beauty, realism too might lie in the eyes of the beholder. Then there's also the case of the story's setting. For instance, an ultra-realistic NPC might seem out of place in a highly stylized graphic novel universe, and vice versa. You're simplifying it, John. Even in a stylized universe, there can be elements of realism. Just think of any sci-fi setting. You have these alien landscapes and spaceships, and yet when it comes to emotions, camaraderie, conflict, it's all very real. But wouldn't you say that a stylized NPC adds a specific flavor to the story that a realistic one might not? Something that makes the narrative unique and memorable? That's a fair point, John. But wouldn't downplaying the detail or the nuances in an ultra-realistic character do a disservice to the story too? I suppose the key is not realism per se, but consistency. If an NPC is designed to be very realistic, it should remain so throughout the narrative, and the same applies to a stylized NPC. That way, regardless of the design aesthetic, the readers can accept the NPC and believe in the character. A sudden shift from realism to stylization or the other way round could indeed jar the reader out of the narrative. So it seems, along with hitting the right balance between realism and stylization, maintaining this balance consistently throughout the narrative is crucial. It adds to the credibility of the AI NPC and helps in deepening the reader's engagement. Isn't it fascinating, John, to envisage a future where the readers of graphic novels can personalise the appearance and behaviour of AI NPCs to match their taste. Yes, it sure is, Haley. But wouldn't this customization alter the storyline, thereby complicating the narrative? That's correct and is a complex challenge indeed. 
While customization provides singularity to the user experience, it can lead to an array of changing narratives. This might disrupt the story's integrity, given how multiple possible reader-driven NPC changes can deviate from the preset storyline. I see what you mean, Haley. But isn't there a possibility of incorporating some sort of systemic limitations to curb this unpredictability? That's a great thought, John. One possible way is through guided customization, essentially providing boundaries to the range of AI NPC modifications. This could offer readers the thrill of personalization while preserving the essence of the narrative. That's plausible, Haley. This could entail the risk of readers feeling confined, though, striking a balance between preserving narrative integrity while enabling customization seems like a tough skill to helm. Yes, it's all about the balance of user freedom and narrative consistency. Arguably, dynamic narratives powered by AI could potentially add a new layer of interactive storytelling. On the reader's end, even within restrictions, having an AI NPC that they could shape could enhance their emotional investment, producing a significantly more immersive experience. Absolutely, Haley. Encouraging user creativity while maintaining the influence of a well-written narrative. That's something worth aspiring towards. I'm excited to see which graphic novels employ this aspect of AI. Taking into account customization, collaboration, adaptability, and potentially vocal capabilities are the major pillars pointing towards the development of AI NPCs. These, I believe, are the roadmaps we should be looking at. It's intriguing, Haley, to imagine if voice capabilities could be integrated into AI NPCs. They could possibly add more depth and dimension to these characters. Absolutely, John. And we can't overlook the significant role of the voice in human communication. If we can effectively incorporate this into AI NPCs, just imagine the level of immersion we'll offer to the readers. I have a question, though, Haley. While this transformation excites me, I'm also concerned about maintaining the art of storytelling. How do we cope with this? That concern is valid, John. But it's all about coexistence. I see AI NPCs and traditional storytelling methods not as opponents, but as partners. AI doesn't have to eradicate the already established methods. Instead, it can enhance them, providing creative opportunities we might not have had before. So, what you're saying is... It's less about replacing and more about complementing. That makes sense, Haley. It's kind of like using washing machines. They don't replace the practice of washing clothes by hand, but rather, they make it easier and efficient. Exactly, John. I couldn't have put it better myself. We need to embrace this technological shift while safeguarding our heritage. The goal is to harmonize technology and art, bringing about the best of both worlds.